Yo, what's going on guys, and today we're going to be going over the replays that got me to 7,000 trophies, top 500 in the world. I actually recorded these games live, but uh, whenever I ended the recording, I guess my storage on my phone was full or something, but it wouldn't let me save the files. So here I am, uh, going to commentate through the replays and kind of explain my thought process a little bit. So, this first match I matched up against Graveyard. Um, he gives plays a knight on my e-spirit so i expo opposite lane because i thought it could have been like expo or something and he defends it i get some damage which is always nice um and then i'm gonna play a knight on this uh, right hand side um to defend the baby dragon the ice wizard so we're up a little bit of damage um nothing significant we can still come back but it's always nice to um have a good start looks like he plays a tombstone in the middle here um, so he actually plays it where I can't fireball the tombstone and the, uh, right tower. So I just go ahead and set up a Tesla in the middle. Um, cause I don't want to fireball the left tower yet. It's too early, um, to start fireball cycling. So he, this knight is obviously just going to die to my Tesla. I'm going to play Skelly so it doesn't damage it at all. Um, he goes baby dragon here. So I'm just going to go ahead and expo on the left cause he doesn't have knight and he's, doesn't have a tombstone. He defends it pretty well. I maybe should have logged on offense here. Uh, I'm not really sure. That could have been a mistake because this Ice Wizard does end up getting some damage. Um, but either way, it's not that bad of a trade. He plays a Tombstone in the middle, so I just fireball it in the tower I want to go for. Um, and I'm still up Elixir, and he can't punish me at all because I have Archers uh, for his graveyard, and he doesn't even have a poison to kill them. Single's really good for Expo against Splash Shard just because it's really hard for them to get damage against you other than like poisons. Um, because their graveyards they can't really get like a proper graveyard push going whenever you have archers in cycle. So he baby dragons in the corner, I go Expo. He's gonna defend with like a knight poison bar barrel, so I'm not gonna get much damage. Uh so I just tussle in the middle to defend the baby dragon with skellies, and then the tussle will also kill the knight bar barrel on the left. Um, Tussle in the middle is not bad just because like you want to switch lanes when you expo against graveyard because they keep getting poison damage so the Tussle in the middle kills uh, both lanes um, if you cycle back to an expo. Here I'm splitting archers. He still can't graveyard just because of the way the uh, rotation is for me. This knight was actually a mistake. Um, That's something I shouldn't have done uh, because the baby dragon is not getting targeted by the tower. Um, so he actually goes graveyard with it. He doesn't get that much damage as you, you can see just because e-spirit archers uh, Really clean up the graveyard and I play a knight here instead of a log because I know I need to defend the baby dragon And then I go expo here because he cycled the baby dragon in the back and I was hoping to see if I can get some damage um, Again with another Tesla in the middle uh, Just because I know I need to defend both sides of his push uh, I lock his ice wizard and reset it with an e-spirit and I get a small lock uh, nothing significant, but still damage nonetheless. I maybe should have played a knight on that barbell on the left. That could be a, um, something I could have done different, uh, just because it did get two swings. Um, but I didn't want to play a knight on it, just because that's not a very good trade. Once again, he defends with a uh, knight barbell poison, so I'm still getting no damage. So I cycle back, and I try to go expo Tesla here to see if I get lucky. Um, but it's not going to work out very good for me, as you can see. Um... Gonna surround the Ice Wizard on the right. My Tesla snipes his Ice Wizard on the left, so I go ahead and log to take everything off the board. Um, but he's just gonna go Barbo and clean everything up, so I'm just gonna split archers and uh, try to go in again on the right-hand side. Notice how I keep switching lanes, and that's because he just keeps getting that poison damage on both sides. Um, so you gotta kind of, uh, you know, just be careful and don't let them poison cycle uh, one lane the whole game. You wanna switch lanes um, so they're not like stacking up all their damage on one side. Here I just uh, throw a fireball, start you know fireball cycling because I am down in damage. Um, he goes barbell here, so I just pull it to my Tesla, and then I'm gonna go expo on the right because I know my Tesla on the right is gonna kill his Ice Wizard. Um, he goes knight on the left, which is really good for me, and uh, I'm gonna kill this barbell and then get an expo lock, and then I'm gonna uh, pull the knight. I use a knight to pull the baby dragon to my Tesla while rocking the bridge. So my archers clean up his graveyard, and then I predict his poison here and go expo. So he has no elixir. He can't get his knight down in time. So all I have to do now is just block his ice wizard and then catch his barb barrel. Um, and then that's pretty much game because he can't defend me. Uh, my expo is already on his tower. 
So I played that pretty well. I predicted his poison and went with an expo, which ultimately uh, got me a lot of damage and won me the game. So you just want to play really passive and uh, make them defend most of the game because then they're only getting poison damage. This game I matched against um, Royal Hogs Earthquake. This matchup is really bad, and uh, all the expo players hate playing it with a fireball just because it's so hard to win. Um, he goes Fire Spirit at the bridge. I have no cycle cards in hand, so I just play Archers. Here I think I should have Tesla'd like right now, like in the anti-Earthquake position to kill his queen. Um, but I ended up waiting, um, and it cost me because he's going to get some damage here, as you can see, because um, he ends up going in with it. Uh, I logged the left side. Um, I knew he had prediction log, so I didn't play a cycle card. Um, so that was, I took a lot of damage there because I hesitated on my Tesla in the middle. I should have played it as soon as I could have. But it's okay, we're not down that much damage. It just means I need to go for an Expo connection to win the game now. I can't spell cycle him. So he defends uh, my E Spirit with his Fire Spirit, and then he's going to go with the Queen in the middle. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I should have. This is exactly what I should have done on the first sequence, is with this Tesla High. Um, he goes Earthquake on it, which I thought was really weird because it's only single, so I go in immediately. And this defensive cannon was not very good at all. Um, just because, like, all it did was just save him a few seconds. Uh, so he's going to go pigs at zero on my expo, but my expo's already on his tower, so I'm just racking up the damage. So I split archers here to defend the pigs, um, and this is a really good position for me because after the sequence, uh, the tower's health will be pretty even on my part, um, which is always good to keep them even, and I'm up 800 damage. Um, so this is a really good position for me. So... I um I can't remember if I go expo here. Yeah, so I guess I go expo here. And then I'm going to block his um, cannon. I tried blocking his cannon um, with skellies, but he played it low. So then I go knight here to block his queen because I know he has no elixir because he just spent nine. So if he cloaks his queen, my expo gets a lot of damage. And if he doesn't, it just dies. And so uh, my, his queen dies, so I block his fire spirit. And now I just rack up the damage. He has to earthquake at like five. And I'm already back to expo, so I expo again. And I uh, tried to block the cannon, didn't play it, so then I just fireball his pigs, and then they all die since my skellies were hitting them. And that pretty much just takes his whole tower. Um, he played really bad at the start. I don't know what he was thinking, to be honest. Um, he had no chance with that uh, earthquake and single. So now I just uh, kind of defend for 30 seconds. He's so far behind, he can't win. I can just fireball all the pigs um, and play some defense and win the game from there. Uh, I don't know how that guy is at uh, this trophy range. He is not very good at that deck at all. He needs some practice. Um, this guy was playing 2.6. Um, so in this matchup, you need to just try to stay even with them in damage and fireball cycle. Um, just because it's really hard for to get an expo lock. So what you're going to see me do throughout the whole game is just... Um, you know, try to keep up in damage. If he logs, if I, I log. Um, if he fireballs my tower, I fireball his tower. Um, and then whenever triple elixir hits, then I can start putting on pressure in the opposite lane because he's going to have to spend his spells on my expo to defend it. And then that means that he's not getting them onto my tower, uh, which gives me an advantage. So um, I'm just going to, you know, kind of keep up with the game, the pace of the game, you know, cycle my cycle cards to get back to the Tesla. Because um, if he gets any hog hits, then I'm not going to be in a very good position uh, to catch up. He plays a really high cannon here, so I can't fireball the cannon in his tower. So I just go expo because I don't have a better play. I maybe could have fireballed the tower here instead of going expo, but I chose to expo just to see if I could, you know, uh, get a lock or something. Um, so I do end up getting one shot, so that's 55 damage there. Um, fireball could have been better. But it's okay. We're up a good bit of elixir here, um, but I don't know that at the time, so I think I just, um, you know, cycle some more cards. I could have maybe fireballed uh, the tower instead of going expo, like I said. Um, so yeah, I split archers here. I guess he goes with a, does he go with a cannon? I think he prediction cannons here. That prediction was pretty good because I would have exposed otherwise. But since he wasted the cannon, I'm going to shove the expo on the left so he can't expo my left tower, or he can't fireball my left tower and my expo. That's something that you uh, see a lot from the expo players um, just so they don't get damage on the expo on the tower. You shove it sometimes. Uh, but I still don't get any damage. So I'm just kind of like stalling. Like I'm trying to just make sure that I'm ahead in damage the whole game. Um... 
That way, whenever triple elixir hits, then I can start, uh, you know, gaining the damage lead because it's easier for me to defend than it is for him. So then I get to put on the pressure. So he gets me here with a prediction cannon. Uh, I didn't think he would go for it again just because he already uh, missed the prediction one time. Uh, so he did get me with it, but I'm not going to fall for it again uh, just because um, I've already seen it twice now and I know he likes to go for it. So I'm just still cycling cards. He's not playing as aggressive as he should be. He needs to be playing a lot more hog riders. He goes with the prediction cannon here and he misses it. Um, I don't know why I would have exploded there. I don't know really what he was thinking. Uh, I knight his musk here and he's trying to defend it. Uh, he does a pretty good job of defending it. I'm going to push the hog to my tussle with the skeletons. That's a really good play because you can pre-tussle in the middle and then push the hog with the cycle card. Um, I lock his two musketeers here and then I... Um, Knight the Musk again. He tried a prediction cannon again. It still didn't work. Um, I still don't know why he thinks I would expo there. I don't think it would be a very good play. Logus cannon, you know, I'm just keeping up with the damage. He's he's ahead of me barely, but it's okay. I go expo here just because my archer's really high up and he's missed his cannon. And then I'm going to knight the left and then I'm going to uh, skelly's log the right. Um, no, I'm going to fireball his tower because he fireballed my tower actually, sorry. Um, he logs, so I'm going to log. I'm just trying to keep up in damage. So right now, I'm actually ahead in damage. Um, we're going to defend the uh, Ice Spirit, and then he goes for another Prediction Cannon. So I'm just going to defend this Hog Push, and then probably Fireball his Tower. I go to Knight Tesla here on his Hog, because I thought he might Fireball the Tesla, but he Fireballs my Tower instead, so I just go ahead and Fireball his Tower. We're still ahead in damage, which is nice. We're up by 101. Um, now it's, uh, you know, triple elixir in a few seconds. So then we're going to be, uh, be able to start putting on the aggression. I go knight first and then Tesla. So his musketeer doesn't shoot my Tesla. And then he does a really bad fireball here. So I go expo and I predict his cannon. And now the game, like I'm in the driver's seat now because he's going to be on his back foot trying to defend expos, um, for the remaining, uh, triple elixir. So I know he has to keep defending my expo. So I fireball his tower. He's going to fireball mine here. So I'm going to expo again. I'm up a lot of elixir. I'm up like six right now. I go, uh, archers to DPS his Tesla since he played it high. And then I, um, fireball his tower. And then I play skellies to kill the hog and predict the cannon. And then I go knight again. And then I, um, he finally catches up, but as you can see, I'm, um, I want ahead by one fireball and he lets my e-spirit connect to the tower. So now it's just a, uh, spell cycle race. Um, his cycle is a bit faster than mine, but I think I should be fine here. I just, you know, cycle my fastest cards while defending hogs with the Tesla instead of playing a knight and just keep chucking spells at the tower. And, uh, his fireball was on the way to my tower, but, uh, fireball only does 274 damage and I won by 349. So I would have won by, um, you know, maybe like 76 HP or something, 75 um, but those were the three games that got me to 7,000 trophies, top 500 in the world. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.